In this video I will be talking about diesel. No, not that diesel. That diesel. Okay, diesel engines are more efficient compared to gasoline engines, but they're more efficient only if you drive on the highway or at speeds above 60 km per hour. Diesel engines are meant to be driven for short distances, especially if you drive downtown. The engine heats up slowly and if you drive only for short distances, especially around town, then you will have problems with the DPF filter. A diesel engine heats up pretty slowly, so if you drive a modern diesel car with a DPF filter, then it might get stuffed pretty quickly. I've seen lots of diesel owners complaining about their DPF and if you have trouble with it or if it needs to be replaced, it costs over $1500. In case you didn't know, if you remove the DPF filter and you drive the car without it, it's illegal. I've seen brand new cars with just 40,000 km with problems on the DPF. The DPF fault light was on and it showed that it had trouble. So if you drive outside town and you drive over 30,000 km per year, then buying a diesel is worth it. But otherwise not. If you drive 10 to 15,000 km per year, the difference between the fuel consumption of a gasoline and a diesel will be reinvested in maintenance costs and parts. In terms of reliability, they're pretty similar. In fact, some diesel engines are now more reliable than tiny turbocharged gasoline ones. However, a diesel engine can't compete with a naturally aspirated engine with a low compression ratio. It simply depends how the manufacturer designed that car, but Generally speaking, diesel engines are pretty close to gasoline ones in terms of reliability. Now before you buy a diesel car, keep in mind that you have to experience more noise, more vibrations and thus comfort will be compromised. So if you want to buy a limo for comfort and you get a diesel engine on it, well, it's kind of noisy. Maintenance costs in diesel engines are much higher compared to gasoline ones. This is because the cost of production is much higher due to high pressures used in diesel engines. Common rail injection systems use pressures up to 2200 bars. In a gasoline engine, injection pressure doesn't exceed 200 bars. In my Audi A3 with a multi-point injection system, my injection pressure is around 5 bars. So think a little bit at the difference. Injector units used in common rail injection systems are pretty expensive, each costs $500 or even more. Clutches used in manual transmissions on diesel engines are also much more expensive. They generally use double mass flying wheels and a clutch kit replacement costs over $800. In my car which has a single mass flywheel, the clutch kit costs around $180. So a double mass clutch kit is almost four times more expensive than a single mass flywheel. In terms of performance, turbocharged diesel engines are much, much, much weaker compared to turbocharged gasoline ones. Let's take a look at the following graphs. As you can see, the maximum torque in a diesel engine is between 17 and 2500 RPM, whereas in the turbocharged gasoline engine, the peak torque is between 1500 and 5000 RPM. These are examples from Volkswagen Audi engine graphs and they have the same engine displacement, 2 liters. So you get much greater power outputs and you get better performance in a turbocharged gasoline engine than you would do in a turbocharged diesel one. Even naturally aspirated engines can keep up with a turbocharged diesel engine. Just imagine if you add a turbo. So if you like to drive aggressively or if you're a sports driver, then a diesel engine isn't for you. Should I mention how pollutant diesel engines are compared to a gasoline one? Diesel engines emit black smoke or black carbon, a lot of particulate matter. That's why we have DPF particulate filters. That's why in lots of cities, diesel engines will be banned. And that's why diesel cars have a specific smell if you stay behind of a car. That smell actually comes from nitrous oxides. Also nitrous oxides cause acid rains and it can destroy agriculture. Particulate matter causes cancer, especially lung cancer, and it's extremely 
harmful to our health. I actually opened a DPF filter and after 20 minutes, trust me, my skin was red and it was itchy for the entire day. I wore a mask, safety gloves and a safety jacket during that process, but the particulates uh, penetrated my skin through the clothes, so imagine how would it be without the DPF filter. DPF filters also reduce black smoke. If you see a diesel car with a DPF filter and if you redline the diesel car, you won't see any kind of black smoke. I'm not saying that gasoline is clean, but diesel is worse. The cleanest fossil fuels that we can use today are liquefied petroleum gas and compressed natural gas. If you live in a cold area, then starting a diesel engine might give you headaches. Sure, modern diesel engines with latest common rail injection systems start way easier. Even at minus 25 degrees Celsius, a modern diesel engine can start easier. However, older diesel cars barely start or even if they start you will add a lot of wear to it for cold areas you should definitely go for gasoline the price of a brand new car with a diesel engine is also higher compared to a gasoline one so to sum up if you don't drive at least 30,000 kilometers per year don't buy a diesel engine it's harmful it's annoying it's less comfortable it doesn't have any sports driving abilities it sucks and it and it pollutes a lot and that's my point about diesel engines i don't agree with them i am a gasoline guy and i will always prefer gasoline over diesel and these are my thoughts about diesel engines thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in the next one